is that a scary talking head could comment on it, maybe give some helpful advice or or um, some helpful tips regarding some some things in the news. So I uh, noticed uh, was it yesterday or today that some like three poor guys they they uh, their boat flipped over or something in the ocean and and they had to swim and they got to some remote island and uh, yes they wrote out like help or something on the beach with like palm fronds or something and they got rescued and I was like oh, 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 oh that's a really good idea yes uh, yes it is but had they been more prepared um, uh, it, maybe uh, just in case uh, if they hadn't been rescued if a plane hadn't have happened to have seen Oh, yes, oh, their help sign, well, then, uh, they might have used, been able to use some things, uh, uh, to help them on this island, and I was thinking, well, <laughs> what kind of a kit would you need, like, uh, a stranded island kit or something, and, uh, I was thinking, well, uh, I would really like to have, uh, if I was on an island like that, like, a strike anywhere, man is for one yes those are always handy so yes uh, strike anywhere matches a or uh, perhaps uh, uh some little um what do you call those things like like a skewer like a, a stainless steel skewer i think would be handy because uh you can do all kinds of things with a skewer like like uh like skewer a rodent or something and then like cook it over a fire that you can start with your strike anywhere matches yes <laughs> i hear that rodents are actually pretty good i mean especially if you can find like a nice a wolf rat or, or something like that they got a lot of meat on them and and uh oh well that reminds me you probably want a little bit of barbecue sauce then and also in your kit i mean if you just had like a rat and Oh, <laughs> you probably want some salt and pepper as well, yes, yes, salt, pepper, barbecue sauce, strike anywhere matches a skewer, yes, um, yes, I, that wharf, wharf rat would taste quite yummy, I think, with that, that barbecue sauce and a little bit of salt and pepper on it, and, well, let's see what else, um, let's see, maybe, maybe some fish line or something, yes, because you could, uh, you could, uh, uh, you could make, like, uh, uh, I don't know, you've done that little cat's cradle thing where, where if you're bored, you know, uh, uh, what's it, like, take your hands like this and you, you string the string between them and, and you, you do, like, you, uh, you just different things like that. You've probably seen that and done it. If you haven't, you should probably look it up on YouTube because it's amazing. But you could, you could do that with the fishing line and uh, that would give you some entertainment while you were on this deserted island and, and uh, you should also have uh, all of those multi-tool things they're so handy and practical I mean I have like three of them uh, <laughs> yes um, as far as that goes yes you don't really need to know how many scary talking head has I just um, wanted to let you know that they're very handy and practical tools you could uh, hollow out a log with one or something and make a canoe or, or uh, um, if you wanted you could do the whole palm front thing that worked for those guys you know and spell out help or something and um, yes so um, then what else would be and you would probably like a distillery because um, fresh water might be hard to find so if you could somehow It would be handy and probably, probably want to put that in your lost or stranded on um, island kit. So, um, yes, what else? Maybe, maybe a pet or something like a pet um, pig well, would be nice if our company and then uh, if, if it came right down to it, you could, you could uh, cook your pig too on the skewer. <laughs> Me of my bacon rant I did one time. It was, it was amazing, people. If you haven't.
haven't seen it, you could probably look that up. But I digress <laughs> once again. Anyway, so yes, um, uh, I think that would be about it. Maybe I, you might want to carry like a small tent, like a three-person tent or something for, for shelter, just and a sleeping bag. Yes, a sleeping bag to keep you warm, just in case it gets cold on those deserted islands. You never know. I don't know if it really snows down at sea level, but sometimes it does. You must be prepared for every contingency. And perhaps you would need some kind of defensive tool, I don't know, like a, a spear gun or something. Uh, what if there was like a... A chupacabra or something on the island, and it hadn't eaten in months. And you're like, the only thing with blood uh, that has come up on the beach in like forever, and it's like super hungry. <laughs> Have you seen those things? They're super creepy. I'm sure. I mean, with a name like chupacabra, you have to be pretty creepy. So, it, I imagine it would look a little. Uh, Listen to